Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of A Crazy Town at Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... T! Yeah, T! Dynamite the Explosive One, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am, I have a stick in my hand. And we're playing the Madden 20, the Vikings return to take what's rightfully theirs. We've already been taking it all. Yeah, well, we're taking more. You could have it all. My Empire of Dirt. Ooh, Nine Inch Nails. Um... <laughs> Also, as always, we're playing offense only. We're simming that D. Using the, the man's playbook. playbook. <laughs> Dude, I really want Chinese food. <laughs> what? I want to bring in a new year, a new way. I want some General so uh, General Soso. General Dude, I just Sosa. Want, I just want that. I bet the the restaurant I want to go to is closed. Uh, which one do you like? First walk. So the football. The one that made you ill. <laughs> oh, yeah. The one where the bean sprouts gave me dire. No, man. It gave, gave me death. like stomach pains. What's your favorite Chinese food? Uh, hmm. I don't oh, want. Asian inspired dish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what it would be my favorite thing at the Chinese restaurant? Yes. I don't know. I guess. <sighs> All right, Jones. This is going to sound weird. I haven't had it in ages, but I'm a big fan of Egg Foo Young. Oh, yeah, I don't even... What's that? Is that the soup where they crack an egg into it? No, Egg Foo Young is like when they take egg. Yeah. And then they, like, make it into a patty, and then they add vegetables to it. And that's a Chinese food thing? Yeah. I don't and then think I've ever seen that. And then they pour gravy on it. Holy crap, dude. Where has this been in my life? That sounds good. <laughs> you don't like eggs, do you? I do like eggs. Do you like eggs? Absolutely. I've never seen like, you eat eggs. I don't like hard-boiled eggs. I've never seen you eat eggs. Yeah. Ever in life. <laughs> I'll make some now. No, you will not. Dude, There's have... none in the refrigerator. Yeah, there is. No. There's always eggs in the fridge. How are eggs... you sneaking eggs <laughs> in the house? There has been eggs in the refrigerator from the moment you lived in no, this place No, you with me. snuck eggs in here. There's... Actually, there's more than 20 eggs in the house. When do you ever eat eggs? I used to eat eggs every Saturday before I went and played volleyball. I'd get up and make eggs and eggs. Oh, yeah, I actually do remember that. <laughs> wow. How do, you, how do you cook your eggs, though? Uh, usually scrambled. Scramble. Now, how do you scramble them, dude? Do you put cheese in them and then scramble Sometimes. them, or do you scramble them and then put cheese on them? There's a difference. Uh... Sometimes I put milk in the egg before I put it in the thing to make it more fluffy. Sometimes I hard scramble them, which means I just put them in the pan as they are. Sometimes I crack them in the pan and then scramble them with a spatula to get yeah, different Yeah, uh, I like that's what I'm talking yeah, about right I, there. Sometimes I crack them in a bowl and whip them so it's like all mixed together. See, I don't like that because then you get like, you get like, uh, what do you call it? You get like omelet meat. Yeah, I, um, I really like, uh, I always used to call them dippy eggs. But, like, that was when I was a child and didn't know any better. But, like, <laughs> I'm glad you brought that over easy. A little bit of your childhood back here with us. Yeah, dude. Uh, like, I don't, I'm not a big fan of sunny side up. I like both sides of the egg to be cooked. Fair. Uh, over nah. easy, where you flip them one time. You eat eggs in all of these different ways? Yeah, I eat eggs pretty much every way except for hard boiled. And I think I've learned that it's because I. The people in my life who cooked them for me were overcooking them really, really bad. Yeah. Because I went and had real ramen at a ramen place, and there was like a soft boiled egg in it, and it was delicious. Yeah, I don't like, like no, no. I don't like the gooey stuff being all runny, Jonas. See, I do. Yeah. I don't want to drink dip my, my toast in it, dude. Mm. Yo, I don't want to drink my egg, all right? I mean, that's just a chicken. I'm, it's a chicken embryo, yeah, but a it's zygote. Dude, I'll zygote it in my so zygote you, mouth. You would be eating zygotes out here. Yeah, but dude, I eat eggs a lot. I don't eat egg salad. That's yeah. gross. I, I can't even remember what egg it's salad like is. like eggs and mayonnaise and stuff. It's weird. I don't Wait, do that. Is that like potato salad? It's, yeah, but it has a, it's with eggs instead. I've never, I, you know, I know I've had egg salad. Oh, and you put mustard in it. Or something. Yeah, dude. I don't. Any, any of those sort of salads, I don't like. Potato uh, salad, chicken salad, egg salad. I don't need any. Hey, yo, egg salad, if it's done right, you put a little relish, a little mustard in that. Ew. It's, it's all right. But I will eat, yeah, like eggs, dude, omelets, uh, yeah, hard boiled. I'll put a sandwich. You know what's really good? Do like an over easy egg on a piece of toast with like some with some ham. Make like a sandwich because then the, the yolk is almost like a condiment. It makes it not so dry. Okay, I'm not going to cap. Like if I go to, what do you call that? Uh, Red Robin. The first time I had the American burger. 
Burger. No, not the breakfast burger. Well, it's called the All-American. Yeah, the All-American. The breakfast burger. It was the first time I've ever had an egg on a sandwich, and I was like, oh, I've been missing out my entire Dude, life. Dude, there's something about the runny egg on a bacon cheeseburger. Yo. Denny's has this burger, dude. I used to go with a friend Denny's? in Ohio after we after we would go out drinking. We because we go to De- we go somewhere to eat and instead of going to Taco Bell, we go to Denny's sometimes. <laughs> Dude, they have a burger. No, it is literally breakfast on top of a burger. So it, it's a burger that comes with bacon, egg, and hash brown. Real. So then, like, we'd get it and pull the breakfast off. <laughs> and I'd have breakfast and a burger. Real. And I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, the, the views that Jonas has about Denny's and Denny's Associates is not the views <laughs> of the crazy town or the crazy town. Subsidiaries. No. Yeah, exactly. No, nah, dude, I'm just being a jerk. No, it's it cool, good, dude. dude. It was good. You had the potato on there, too. Woo. I mean, it, it sounds... Like you could eat it. It sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like you could eat it and not die, but you probably bacon die. That cheeseburger with an egg, though, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Can't even lie to you. It's really good. How about uh, other strange food combinations? You Jonas, know, have you ever had a chicken and waffles? I have. I went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles really? in Los Angeles. Yeah, dude. Was it amazing? Because I've never been. It was. It was good. Yeah, dude. It was like. It was interesting. It was not cheap. It was like twenty one dollars oh, for yeah. like two chicken thighs yeah. and one waffle. I was like, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. You yeah. put crack in it? I mean it wasn't like the best, but it was pretty good. It's it's funny, dude, because like my whole life, like I've definitely eaten waffles and I've definitely eaten chicken, but I've never thought of like putting them together. Yeah. And then I remember like my significant other at the time, she got like uh some of just like the Tyson chicken strip tenders. Yeah. yeah. And then I remember we had like just some Eggo waffles in the in the freezer, and I was like, "I'm gonna make chicken and waffles." Some of syrup on chicken that's good. Yo, it was so <laughs> good, and that's like the most generic form of it you can possibly have. Exactly. <laughs> so if you went to a place that made, made it, it yeah, yeah, dude, it's, it's crazy. And sometimes they give you gravy. Like at Roscoe's, huh? they gave you gravy too, so you could dip the chicken in the gravy. Ew, gravy and syrup. It was, no, it was separate. Like, the waffle comes on the plate, the chicken is on top of it. Then you can either pour syrup on it, or you can eat it set however you want to do it, man. No, I got you. It was, uh, yeah, that's not a bad, that's that's not too bad of a uh, combination. It's pretty good. Pineapples on pizza. Nope. You know, I have a friend who gets Hawaii in pizza whenever he gets pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, agree. Uh, I don't agree with When him. I was married, my stepkids would order a half. It was pineapple on the whole thing, half ham, half pepperoni. So half of it was pepperoni and pineapple, half of it was ham and pineapple. Why? They what, what loved it? it, dude. They would eat, just smash it. Really? Don't know. I don't get it. I don't either. I didn't start eating pineapple, period, till like in the last like three years. So no. like, so you've never actually had pineapple pizza before? Oh, I've tried it. I just don't like it. I don't like the yeah. sweet on my pizza. I don't like sweet pizza, period. Like, I, like if I get a pizza place that has sweet sauce, it's oh, I will not. I won't eat it. I'm, I'm good. I mean, I guess I don't know if the sweet of the pineapple is so overpowering. I'm not. Eat, I'm not parlaying for pineapple pizza. I don't Believe like me, I think it's, anyway, it's disgusting. So it's, it's really going against all the things I hate in life. Yeah, I'm not the pineapple pizza guy. Fight, and I don't really think there's not really a fruit you can put on pizza that's going to be acceptable. I don't think so. But I don't tomatoes. like fruit at all. So like, it's gross. It's all warm and tomatoes. Yeah, I mean that's technically a fruit. Yes, it is. Yeah. So you put that on pizza, Jones? Now, don't you? Yeah, not whole tomatoes, but the sauce. <laughs> Who's gonna put a whole tomato? <laughs> one whole tomato on each slice. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can put tomato chunks, dude. There's a margarita pizza that slices. Yeah, tomatoes. yeah. Uh, when I used to get pizza back in uh, Florida, yeah. I used to get the white sauce, Jonas, and oh, I get good. I like chicken Alfredo. spinach pizza. Dude, I make those sometimes at the house with tomato. No, without tomato. Without tomato. I put tomato on. But yeah, amazing. Oh yeah, dude. I'll put yeah. I'll make a, a chicken alfredo or shrimp alfredo pizza. Mm. Shrimp pizza. Shrimp, spinach, alfredo. It's good. They have that at Mod Pizza. There is one nearby. Uh, there is a Mod. I'm sh- maybe I don't know. I've never never been to Mod Pizza. I hear they have like a bunch of toppings. It's like Chipotle for pizza, and you get a little like ten inch pizza, and it's like a brick oven pizza, right? Yeah. Yeah. I went I to think. a place. It's called Blaze. I think. I've heard of them it's as sim- well. It's like their competition. That's the one that LeBron James has stock in. I think. Is it really? <laughs> I think so. 
<laughs> yes. Oddly enough. <laughs> Uh, good old Braun Braun. Good old Scooter Braun. Scooter Braun Braun. Oh, yeah, dude. we're winning. Yeah, dude. I don't know. What did we start talking about? I didn't. It wasn't about eggs. Eggs came in there later. Nah, dude. Because you told me that you keep eggs in this house, and I didn't know. Yeah. Well, what was the first thing? You need to know me? about eggs in this house. I want to get back to our roots. I don't remember what we were talking about, man. It was a long time ago. <laughs> it was ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, but you don't remember, so it's, dude, I'm not, I don't remember anything. I have a goldfish n- brain. It's not audacious for me to not remember. Can't believe you like eggs, Jones. You know, I used to make a killer omelet. Oh my god, I used to be the omelet king. In fact, whenever I was courting a girl, she stayed a night, make her omelet in the morning. I was guaranteed to be able to. <laughs> they love it if you can cook. Yeah, dude, I know. I can cook. I get it all the time. Guaranteed to smash, dude. Oh, I can't cook, Jonas, but I can make an omelet. I am not very good at making omelets. I tend to break the egg. Oh, Jonas, it's all in the all in the technique, man. Look at the flick of the wrist. I know. Look at the I flick know. of the wrist. I've made successful omelets, for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. But my success to unsuccess ratio is very low. Mm-hmm. Like, But it's cool because if you mess up an omelet, it turns into scrambled eggs. Exactly. So, like, and then it's still good. You still yeah, got all the fixings in it. It just doesn't look quite right. All right, what do you put in an omelet, Jonas? Boom, go. My favorite, I mean, if I, had, like, if I have real bacon, not bacon bits, it's yes. always going to be bacon and cheese. Just that's it. I mean, if I'm making a plain one at home, like I like cheese on. I mean, like ideal. Sandwich. Oh, meat like ham, bacon, sausage. Okay. Like a meat omelet. Yeah, that would no, be ideal. No but veg- I, I probably wouldn't even do that anymore. No vegetables. Nah, dude, I'm not a veggie boy. Yeah, I used to put onions, mushroom. I used to make mushroom. <laughs> of uh, course. I'm not surprised. That Yo, you if mushroom. you don't notice about dynamite, I am a mushroom lover. I eat them out of the can. Anything shaped like mushrooms. Don't you know, you stop it. You stop it right now. <laughs> but yeah, I used to make mushroom omelets. And I would put like, I would take like spinach and then I would actually like cut it up. I used to do, I used to cook a I lot. do like spinach in an omelet. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Like a, like a mozzarella and spinach omelet. I used to yes. make those sometimes. Yeah, no, nah, that's not bad. I never use mozzarella though. Is this not a strong. She's American. <laughs> Just American. Shut Jesus. up. <laughs> I used to take like craft singles. <laughs> I mean, I'll put American cheese in an omelet. Don't get me wrong, but not with spinach. I would. Jonas, whatever. So what? That's how I do. Like usually, I'm anymore, a plebeian I put, now. Like, one slice of American because uh, it helps like get the liquidy going. Yeah, and it's Hands. and it's an adherent for all of your toppings. It helps. Yeah. It helps yeah. Bind. It's a catalyst, Jonas. You need the cheese in your omelet. I do. But yeah, um, I guess my dad taught me to make omelets, and that's like one of the few things I know how to make. Omelets are good. Dude. Yeah, taught me how to make like hot wings too. I've never used that information in my life. Yeah. Like, I'm, well, I mean, did he teach you how to deep fry a piece of chicken in that, or did he teach you to make the sauce? The properly? sauce. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like making wings, you just deep <laughs> fry them until they're done. <laughs> yeah. So he t- taught you how to make a good buffalo sauce. You should you should show me that recipe. Dude. I have no dude. We're talking about like 13 years well, old you here. You can't say you learned it because you don't know it anymore. I mean, I learned it. There's stuff you learned in college that you have no recollection of. But I don't go around being like, yeah, I know how to do statistics because I don't. <laughs> I learned it and then it was gone. The only thing I remember for statistics is the bell curve. Oh, uh, dude, the that, Z values. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I just no remember idea. Z values. I don't even remember what Z values are. I don't either. I remember hating their face. <laughs> I remember, but my statistics teacher was actually, he was pretty cool. I should say professor. He was pretty cool. Like, first day we're in there, he uh, he did the whole thing about there's a good chance that two people in this room have the same birthday. And there was like a class of maybe 30 people. Sure enough, two people out of that group of 30 people had a birthday on the same day. And he was like, that's statistics. And then he was like, uh, and by the way, if you bring me donuts, basically guaranteed in that. <laughs> I brought that man donuts every week. <laughs> and guess what I got? The C. An A plus. Yo, I don't know. There was something out of whack about my college, man. <laughs> he was I, like, you slip me a 20 every week. <laughs> You're guaranteed. <laughs> You're guaranteed. Basically. Yeah. I was like, what kind of donuts you like? He was like this. I was like, yep. Got you. Yo, you know, and F that, Jonas. You know, it's not bribery. 
because if you if you're not trying, you gotta expose or you gotta use every. You didn't Aunt Becky him. Yeah, exactly. You like. You just gotta use everything, every tool that you have in front oh, of yeah, you, dude. Think outside of the box, yeah, man. Boy. You get in a bad grade in your English class, get her a nice shiny apple, put it on her desk. Who's this from? I'm allergic to apples. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, from, it's from Joe over here. I'm just wondering, like, where, like, that whole giving an apple to the teacher. There's a reason that was a thing, Jonas. <laughs> Like, I, like, why would you give your give her a brick of cheese? <laughs> that used to be like the thing they would do in like the school days back before we were like <laughs> pre boomer ages. Yeah, right. <clears throat> but it can be a proverbial apple, Jonas. You don't have to give her a red delicious, Jonas. You can just give her a compliment. Oh, Mrs. Morgan, that dress looks nice on you today. Oh yeah, is that how it works? Oh, Mrs. Morgan, I like the way you have your hair done. You don't have to care about how Mrs. Morgan hair looks. Hey, Miss Parker. But if you're nice to your teachers, guess what? They're nice to you. They're just people, too. Yeah, I know. Can um, I shovel your snow? Can I? <laughs> hey, Miss Parker. <laughs> can I shovel your snow? No, we're not allowed to sing Chance the Rapper Christmas album songs anymore, Jonas. No, dude. Why are you doing it? Man? Because you started. I spoke two sentences. I said, hey, Miss Parker. I just wanted to give them some context. Yeah, I got you. By the way, uh, it is a little late. Chance to wrap a Christmas album is really good. Did we talk about that on the channel? Oh, so many times. <laughs> so many times. Dude, it's good. And I don't have even you, like Christmas. Did you, bribe, no. did you bribe teachers when you were in high school, Jones? No, I mean, just, with, they all liked me, man. With compliments and stuff and like good behavior? No, I mean, I was a good kid. I did my work. I didn't cause trouble. That, that's usually all it takes for them to like you. You yeah. come into class, you don't distract, do what you're supposed to do, and be nice. They're like, oh, I love this kid. He does what he's supposed to do in my class. Yeah, yeah. You got a point. Um, I was bad at doing homework. Mainly, I didn't like to do it. Uh, I don't think you're alone. <laughs> I thought it was Jesus, dumb. man. X Boy came in like he was on fire. How the hell are you gonna make me spend eight, nine hours in these doors and then send me home with another three hours worth of work, man? This is too much. Yeah, I always got mine done in school. Yo, I was I had other things to do. I had a yacht. Holla at girls. I had a Yahtzee handheld for study hall. Oh boy, <laughs> that was way more useful than than getting your homework done. <laughs> Jonas, I think my, my video game addiction has been prevalent throughout my entire life and I'm just now coming to terms with it. Yeah, I mean I mean I've been playing I like I've like I used to play tons and tons and tons of games. I don't don't any I do no. this. This is like my video game. See, game. and you say tons and tons. Back in the day I used to play games all the time. I sat around and played games constantly. Like up uh, until about five years ago. That's the main hobby I had. Really? Yeah, dude, even when I was married, we sat around and played games. I played Destiny with you. You didn't. We oh, uh, you. Hours and hours you, and hours. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get down like I was. You, I would always be on when you would jump one on. one we were. Yeah, okay. It, and then it was like, then like when my wife fell off, like I couldn't sit there and play Destiny as much because she wasn't playing it too. No. Like we did that together, so it was like, yeah. So, but anyways, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Call your teacher, mom. Call your no, wow. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> She'll like it. But for Jonas, <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. We are out. out.